hi guys welcome to today's tutorial yes you can see this beautiful fascinator today we'll be treating how to make a crinoline feather trimming or rather how to trim crinoline feathers so basically but before we have to start we would like us to do what subscribe and click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you always get you always be notified anytime we upload a beautiful and educative video so today we'll actually be treating a fantastic topic i would like you guys to learn okay now we can proceed now here with me is a um a crinoline and um i'm going to be saying it's roughly 21 inches but i'll show you the inches later on then with our quill and of course we'll also be using our scissors and um finally it should be needle and thread so now you can see i'm actually taking the measurement so you will be able to be, you can be sure of the measurement so it is 21 inches as i said earlier on and it's also a full size crinoline all you need to do is fold into two and bend and that's all so basically what it entails is that you have to take a quill and whichever size you want depending on the size of this crinoline feather uh, trimming you want to achieve then for me I have this exact size which actually goes well with the 21 inches crinoline so what is next is uh, how to be placing this in between the crinoline okay I'm sorry what is going on I'm act I actually adjusted the camera okay what you you need to do is uh, um, place the quill inside the folded crinoline if you have a good adhesive in the house you can actually use it at this point rub it at the point i'm actually touching now so you can um, it can stay without any stain but now i don't really have one but um, the u gum will give me a slight stain so i'll be going for a fabric um, glue but before then i'll have to use a needle and thread to tack the crinoline to the quill now you have to be very careful here i have a kind of um, hidden stitching that i will actually be showing you here but it's not so hidden that was why i decided to use um, a fishing line in, in place of a thread i think the best option was to actually go for an exact color of the crinoline and the quill that alone will actually make the whole thing blend together but that you should consider when you're creating yours so now you can see how I'm, I'm actually stitching i after knotting i pass the needle and thread inside the crinoline right in between the crinoline and um, the quill and um, i knot again so this is what you continue to do till you get to the very tip of the quill and then we can now apply our adhesive so just keep watching and enjoy the whole video thank you for keep for watching and um we'll still be letting you know other things as we proceed
okay so you can see how far we've gone and um, that is what it will take us to to get to the tip also so we have to just quickly finish up with the the rest part of the crinoline then we can proceed to the next stage so i will actually be showing you the finished work now so you can see we finished it and with that means we finished attaching the quill to the crinoline and the next is just to actually trim and um, place um, apply our adhesive so you have to be very careful here at this point your trimming should not be smaller than what it is now except if you want your um, crinoline feather to look uh, a bit smaller than what you saw in the picture of the fascinator I showed earlier on so it depends on what you want actually and um, basically what it entails is just be mindful of why you're trimming and just for you to be able to cut the joining parts of the crinoline that is the reason why we are trimming and so the crinoline can actually fall apart that is the reason you should in case you don't know why we're actually trimming so afterwards you can now comfortably start pulling off that's pulling the crinolines apart but before then i almost forgot that i hadn't um, attached or i hadn't applied the adhesive so i'm going to be applying the adhesive now and afterwards we'll be coming back to continue with what we've started okay so when you apply all you need to do is use your thumb to actually smooth in now should in case it's a uh, real gum you'll be using all well and good is also okay but i actually use a fabric glue and um, that also gave me what i wanted and uh, but if you're using a a U gum the U gum shouldn't be able to show through like that so you can just quick um nicely apply the U gum so it doesn't look so so obvious so now i actually after applying the fabric glue i had to sun dry for some time and when it got dried i started pulling as you can see now so all you need to do is pull the fabrics um, i mean the crinolines apart and you should do that gently because as it stands now it's not like you might you, you might think the glue are, uh, are really dry you'll be surprised if you pull so hard the crinolines might actually pull out so you just have to be careful it's normal that some will for sure will actually fall apart but not like um, the whole things are falling apart so this is what you continue to do to you exhaust the whole crinoline so that everything would actually look like a real feather like um you know the the feather we're actually trying to um create
okay guys so you can see that um, we are patiently and we are taking our time or I am actually taking my time to pull apart all the screen on this so that um, we can actually be able to get the real deal or what we are after so you don't just rush your work I am not fast I just fast forward this place so it will look um, a bit faster but I'm actually showing you all this to tell you that um, this is the process you have to go through to make something of this nature so whatever it is that you want to achieve in this um, crinoline feather I guess maybe you have to, to give yourself a time to achieve that and uh, afterwards all you need to do is just trim to x to the shape or to the size you want and um this is the first one i did but it's already bent i've actually bent it so all you need to do here too is just to get a uh, scissors and then you fold like um you bend it alongside with the quill and it follows it follows suits like um just keep bending the quill to the direction you want and of course it's going to bend so that should be that's all for this tutorial and i hope this is um a, this had actually helped you a great deal so all i need you guys to do is maybe to practice it at your own convenient time and let me know if you it came out very nice thank you and we'll be seeing you in our next video bye